Today we're going to do traditional strength work. So I'd like you to take your feet shoulder width apart, your head over your shoulder, on your ear shoulder, hip in alignment, and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down, two more up and down, last time up and down. Let's take it across, putting our toe into the floor, our arm across our ear. Four more, four and three and two and one across the chest. Let's open it up, back. Good, four more. We're going to do a lot of chest work. Two and one and take it up for four, two, three, and four across one, two, three, and up for two, across for two, open for two, again, nice. And last time, good. Now hands on the hips, then point, push it through, good, nice. Four more, four and three and two. We're gonna add those shoulder rolls. It's right and left, nice. And then forward, four and three and two and one, let's open wide. Inhale down, exhale, cross your ear to the opposite wall. Nice, perfect. Last time, it's up and over. Really pull it up out of your waist, out of your hips. Make sure the head's over the tailbone. Don't let it push forward. Now hand down and take it, oh crap, take it across to the other side. Nice. Bring it back to the center for four and three, up top over bottom two, and one other side. Take it down, across, down, across. I'm losing my mind. Last time, it's up and over. Let's pull it out. I want to make sure that head is over that tailbone. Take a nice deep breath and pull it. I need it to rearrange my equipment and bring it back to the center. We lunge to the knees. Good. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Good. Four more. Four and three and two. And let's sit behind it on one. Toe is up on the other side. Let's move that foot forward, not out to the side. Right? So we get the back of that hamstring, which is going to get a lot of work today. And then turn. And we do that lunge. Get as low as you can without hurting your knee, make sure your knee and ankle are in alignment, long line from your head to your tailbone. Nice. Pull the back leg in, straighten both legs, nose to knee, and come back on that heel. Nice, come around into a sumo squat. Roll the shoulder around, look over the other side, and then switch, and then doubles to the center. Take it one and two, one and two, one and two, and singles up and over, go across, across, across. It's out, it's out, pop over bottom four, and three, and two, and one. Let's go over to that other leg. Toe is up, make sure the foot is facing forward, but don't rotate the ankle, right? You want it to be um, fluid, and then take it around your lunge. Good job. Nice, slide it in, nose to knee. Let's bring both legs, they're facing the same direction. Nice, and come back into your heel. Get it to the front. Take one hand over to the other ankle and pull that chest toward the thigh. Get a nice back and hip stretch. Flat hands to the center, wag your tail over to the other side. Right here, soften your knees, shrug. Right and left, come up. Nice. Roll both shoulders back twice and forward twice. Good, and we're gonna need this stretch. Hands on the glutes or grab your hands behind you into that nice big chest stretch. And then back of the hands together and relax it down, breathe it up three times, take it up and down, two more up and down. Last time up and down. I'd like you to bring your waist out for your deadlift. We're gonna alternate deadlifts with um, squats. And of course you can hold your weight through the, the squats as well. But let's just leave them there for the deadlifts. It should be nice and heavy, right? So let's start, we're gonna do four sets of 20s with 20 pulses in between. So we're starting out multiple sets. So legs are straight ahead. You got the hip width apart, your head is over your tailbone. Drop your shoulder blades, belly buttons is fine. You squat back into your body. Feel yourself go back on the heels, push into that glute. Inhale down, exhale up, let's go. And one, and exhale up two. And there'll be pulses in between three and no changes, just Four straight sets of 25, six, seven, eight. It's like we're doing the front, then we're gonna do the back. Nine and 10, good. One, good job. Two, bring it all the way up, drop the shoulder blades. Three, exhale up, four. Really sit back or you're gonna feel it in your knees eventually. Six, and if you're like me and you do have knee issues, seven, then so much more investment, eight, Nine, I'll show you why in, the minute, in a minute, 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale, exhale. Now I'll show you why. So let's just do our first set. So when you go back, you put more power into the quad. Keep going, too. If, if you're not going back, then you're putting more power into the knees. Three, keep going. Four, that's why people with knee issues should definitely invest in going back five, but everybody should. Six, seven, eight, nice. Nine, pull it up. You know, pull your pelvis forward, 10, that arches your back. One, a lot of people do that. They think it looks cool. Looks like they're doing a lot of weight. You know, they go four, but you really don't want to arch your back like that. Five, six, seven, you've got it. Eight, push through. Nine, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. You're halfway. Two more sets. 1, 2, 3. So we're going heavy and hard today. 4, 5. Last night we did kettlebell inspired stuff. So we had a lot of shoulders and back. So today we're going to have a lot of chest, lats, and legs. 8, 9, 10, 1. Sit behind it. Two, feel that weight. Go back on your heels. Three, but you always keep your chest lifted. Four, that's right. Five, good. Six, here comes the second, third pause. Seven, eight, nine. This is the only round. Sit back. 20, 19. We're going to do pulses on 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. Last set, let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, good, three, you've got it. Four, keep going. Five, good job. Six, seven, we get a little wider from Renee. Seven, eight, nine, last pulse. Here comes your 80, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it up. Now we do the same thing in a deadlift set, but we don't have pulse, right? All right. Both hands have weights. But we're going to start with one blade. Just slid back to the heel of the other one and on your toe. All right. First 20. One. You go down far enough that you have your hamstring pull you back up. Two. Three. Four. Really feel that pull. Five. You should feel the standing leg six. Keep going. Seven. Put a tight knees. Eight. Nice. Nine. Ten. One. You can see how these are just like the reciprocal muscles, the complementary muscles, too. Three to what we just did. Four. Five. Six. Nice. Seven, eight, I'm having you hold down there so you have emphasis. And that's your first 20, switch sides, more emphasis on the up pull. Inhale down, exhale one. Good, two, three, nice. four, five, six, Seven. Now this is hurting your back. Get rid of the weight to eight or <clears throat> go down further. Nine, because it might be hurting your back because you're holding your 
tightening your back as you go down 10 more. So a lot of people tighten 10 instead of let it hinge and then pull it up. Two, nice. Three, good. Four, five, six, nice. Seven, and there's always the option of losing the weight or going lighter. Nine, and 40, and switch. Make sure you get yourself established before you go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and you take your time. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. Two, you've got it. Three, perfect. Four, make sure you go all the way up every time. Five, you've got it. Six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine, good job. And 60, switch. You got it. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, nice, six, seven, eight, nine, good job, ten, one, two, three, four, Five, you're doing great. Six, nice. Seven, eight, nine, good job. And 80. All right, let's bring those down. I'm going to switch out for my next set. Okay, now back to our squats. Down for three, up for one, two sets of 30. Let's go. One, two, three, one. So inhale and exhale two. So you don't have much time to inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale three. So I'd rather you take that big inhale, sit back in it four. When we're doing halfway all the way, then you do that alternating five. Good, six. We take a sumo squat in between seven, the two sets. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three. 20 more on this first set. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. Now we have 10 more in this first set. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, thirty. All right, it's down into a simple squat for 20. 19, just hold it, 18, 17. Push your glute way down and back. That's gonna help your back. Good, 14, 13, 12, look ahead on the floor. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to your squat position. Get your head over your tailbone, your belly button to your spine. Make sure your shoulder down, let's go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three. Two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, eight, one, two, three, nine, one, two, three, twenty more, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, 
six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. You got this. Two, good job. Three, good job. Four, one, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 20. Take it nice and open and sit to that sumo squat for 20. 19, 18, 17, 20, 21, 2, and one. All right, bring it up, grab your deadlift weights. Okay, I said I'm going down. So you're going to have your toe back, but when we go down, it's one, two, three. So you're lifting your leg. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. First set is going to be one side, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 20 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. Keep going, one, two, three, four. Now the foot doesn't have to put the point, it's just natural, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. You felt in the standing leg, right? One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Don't work the floor with one, two, three, three with your instep, right? One, two, three, four. You want to stay centered. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. And one, two, three, thirty, switch sides. Let's go. Got this? One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, 20 more. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Keep going, one, two, three, three. And again, watch your back, four. You gotta pull that belly button to the spine. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten more. One, two, three, one. Fall on your toes so you lift up, not on your flat foot. Two, because that pushes you back here. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, thirty. Okay. Now we're only going to do a 30 set, a single 30 set for the last one, because I want to dedicate most of this to the upper body, to the chest and the lats. Let's go halfway all the way. Take it down, one, up and one, down, down. Really feel that movement back. So this is the one where you can do inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Four, good, one, have a pulse, five, Good, six, nice, seven, you got it, eight, good, nine, perfect, 10, 20 more, one, good, two, perfect, three, good, four, nice, 
five. You only want to do that chest, right? Six. Perfect. Seven. Gosh. Eight. Nice. Nine. Perfect. And tw 10 more. Feels really good, right? One. Feels powerful. Feel that extension of that. Quad two. It's kind of fabulous. Three. Four. Good. Five. Six. Nice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Mm -hmm. And 30. All right. Pick up one deadlift. And do 15 at a time, and this is how it's going to look. You're going to go up, in, out, and one. Down, in, out, and two. Down, in, out, and three. Down, in, out, and four. Good. Down, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Six. Good. Seven. Down, in, out, eight. Down, in, out, nine. Working on our balance. Down, in, out. Five more. Down, in, out. One. Down, in, out. Two. Down, in, out. Three. Down, in, out. Four. Now we have number 15. We're taking it to the other side. Same thing. Switch hands. Switch feet. Down, in, out. One. Good. In, out. Two. Nice. In, out. Three. Perfect. In, out, four. Down, in, out, five. Down, in, out, six. Nice. In, out, seven. Perfect. Pick it up. In, out, eight. Pick it up first. Up, in, out, nine. Nice. In, out, five more. Down, in, out, one. Down, in, out, two. If you go too far away, you get a little more lunge action. So bring it in. Down, in, out, four. Down, in, out, 30. Okay, let's do some openings before we go down to our major upper body work. So we do the rest of the class. So let's bring the legs around and around and around. That's four. And the other way, one, two, three, and four. Other side, one, two, you can touch down three and four. Reverse, one, two, three, and four. Put your hands on your thighs to flatten your back. Inhale. Exhale, curl up. Slide it down to your shins, staying in the curl. And then all the way to the floor. And then curl yourself up. I want you to line up the weights that you'll use for the upper body. Now, if you have different levels of weights, you want to have as many choices as possible. This is going to be a longer upper body routine than usual. Um, we're going to Try to do that as a focus. I'm going to go diagonal so you can see all of the action. Right? So you sit at the end of your mat with your heaviest weight. Start with our heaviest weight. Good. Go into your body. We're going to have you do everything with cross legs so your back is always protected. Slide your glutes down the mat. Wiggle your chest up the mat. Weights are over the waist. So when you bring the inhale down, the elbow comes by the waist and you exhale up. Four sets of 20, just like we did at the beginning. Down and one, two, exhale up. Three, four, yeah, let's cross one leg over. Five, and I'll change sides for you. Six, so you get even. Seven, eight, I want this to be a push. Nine, 10. One, belly button's the spine to protect your back. Two, make sure you're doing it low so it's your chest, not your shoulders. Four, one, shoulders go to last night's kettlebell. Six, good. Seven, eight, don't rip hard on the end of your pulse down. 20, 19, 18, push up. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and you'll feel it in your shoulders if you're out of position. 10, nine, you will. Um, Feel some ache. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Push up. 
other side. Inhale. Good. Inhale down. One, two, three. Push up. Four. Open that chest. Five. So you should be feeling six. Your shoulder blades come together. Seven. And they're trying to push you on the mat. Eight. Nine. Ten. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. Good. Five. If you're feeling your arms. Six. Your bicep. Then again, you're too far up. Seven. Eight. Good job. Nine. And let's go. Twenty. Nineteen. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, exhale. Good. Cross the other way. Inhale and exhale. 2, 3. So one of the things you want to do, 4, is start with your heavier weight to over-fatigue the muscle. 5, because when you're tired, 6, is when you get the most benefit. Seven, if you can work right through. Eight, nine, and 10 more. Good. One, two, good job. Three, four, five, you got it. Six, seven, good job. Don't forget to exhale up. Eight, that's your power. Nine, and 20, let's do 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, nice and low, 14, 13, 12, don't rest at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, switch. This is the most sets we've done at once, right? I mean, the most reps of, of bench press. We usually put something in between it, three, four, we do this many, we just don't usually do straight five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, last 10, we're getting to 80, nine, good, eight, you got it, seven, we're opening that chest, six, elbows at the side, five, and four, and three, and two, let's hold it, 20, 19, 18, Good, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, I'm going to lower my weight. I feel like my chest is nice and fatigued, and I find that dumbbell flies are a lot harder on my workout, a lot harder workout for me. So create a circle with your arms. Keep that position, make sure it's over your waist. Inhale out and exhale in. Two, three, let's take this nice and slow. We still have four sets of 20, four, five, six, seven, eight. There won't be any pulses on this one or the last nine. 10 more, good. One, two, Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 20. I want you to bring it, the elbows by your side, then switch legs so that you make sure you rest those shoulders a little bit if you're getting some action in them. Hug the, hug the elbows next to your uh, your waist so that when you bring the weights up, they're in the position. Second set of 20. Inhale out, exhale one and two and three. The upper body is always a challenge. Four, because it doesn't get five as much collateral exercise. Six during the day, seven, the stuff we do. Eight, unless you're doing a lot of gardening, like Vicky, nine, ten more, ten, good, which I'm not doing, nine. Eight, tapping on a keyboard. Seven, doesn't count as upper body exercise. Six, five, four, good job. Three, two, and one. We're halfway there. Slide those elbows by that waist. Just three breath hold. Bring it up, third set. 
Inhale out, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, got it, nine, and 10 more, 10, nine, eight, open up that chest, seven, six, five, four, nice, three, you got it, two, and one, slide them by your waist, switch legs, last set, going for our 80, feels so awesome, right, push it up, inhale, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want to get so much stronger. 10 more. I'm glad I, I lowered my weights. 10. I'm getting really tired with these. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Good job. Three, two, and one. All right. You're going to rest them. Let's give yourself 20 seconds. Take breaths. I know that that's a lot for your upper body, so I'm trying to give you a break here before we go into the lats because we're also going to do four sets of 20. And for the 20 pulse, we're just going to hold it back there for 10 seconds. All right, you have five more seconds. Now, you have to remember that this is one time where the weight starts over the chest. So keep the arms long, you lower them behind you. Inhale and exhale. Two, be very careful. This arch is the back. That's why the leg has to be up. Three, four, five. Keep them shoulder width apart. Six, you want to imagine you're using a barbell. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three. Now, do your uh, arms have to be four? Stock straight, no, five. You just don't want to be using the bicep or tricep, six. Using the top of the pec, seven. And the rhomboids, eight. Scapula, nine. I'll hold it back there for 10 seconds. Good, five more seconds. You can feel that stretch in the upper chest. And bring it up and switch it. Second set, one. Two, don't forget the pause at the bottom and the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four. Five, good. Six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, and hold it for 10 seconds. I know it's hard. So if you want to just bring it up, that's fine, but try to do it. Five more seconds. And bring it. We're halfway through. Let's go. Inhale down, exhale one. Good, two, three, four, five, six. Are we only going to get to one round? Seven, keep going. Eight, of that. Nine, and ten. Good job. One, nice. Two, three, perfect. Four, let me get more. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it back. Ten seconds feels so long, right? Five more seconds. Okay, last set. Let's go. One, two, nice. Three, good job. 
four, five, six. You've got this, you've got this seven. Come on, use that exhale. Eight, use that exhale. Inhale, exhale, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight. Good job. Seven, no bicep, tricep, six. It's have a soft elbow, but not a bent. Five, four, oh, oh, three, upper body, two, and one. All right. Oops, I forgot to hold it back there. That's okay. We'll go right to the bench press. Get a little nervous because we only have like four minutes left. So we're going to do 30 of the bench press. Let's go. Over the waist. And down and one. Down and two. Three. Four. Five, good job. Six, seven, eight, keeping your pulse straight. Nine, and 20 more. One, two, and we're gonna do two sets of 30 of everything. Three, four, just like we did on the other ones. Five, six, seven, and then again, eight, no pulsing. Nine, to get a cover roll. 10 more, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, elbows by way, seven. If you see them up here, eight, you know they're out of position. Nine and 30. All right, switch. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. Two, good job. Three, good. Four, good. try to go heavier. Five, good. Six, I need it. Seven, I can do this. Just can't do it on the dumbbell fly. Nine and 10, 20 more. One, two, nice. Use that chest, three. Use that chest, four, five. Not the arms. The arms are just pushing the weights. The chest is the primary mover. Eight, nine, and 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go in for the dumbbell fly, as I mentioned before. Same thing, two sets of 20, 30. Let's go. Inhale up, exhale, one, two, three, four. I hate these, um, but I don't like five. These sand fields, these are sand. Six, um, these dumbbells, seven. So the sand gets really hard after years. Eight, it becomes like holding a rock. Nine and 10, 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 more. One. Feel that chest open and close. That's really important too. And if it's going too fast, three, just do 20 slow ones. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Hold it here. Switch legs. Second set. Looks like we're going to get through all three of these exercises. Then we'll be ready for stretch. Bring it up. Make that circle. Inhale out. One. Two, keep going. Three, you've got it. Four, three, five. You keep going. Six, seven, eight, and ten more. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, you've got 10 more. Let's go, you've got it. 10, nine, eight, seven, good job. Six, last five, and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, last one. All right, we are losing time, so we're just gonna do one set of um, lat raises. Okay, so take it down and one. 
down and two, three, good job. Four, nice thing about five, in this particular exercise, six, although it's the global muscle, seven, you are triggering the shoulders and the biceps and the triceps and the back eight, nine. So it does have more than one muscle group benefit, 20 more. One, two, good job. Three, four, five, nice. Six, seven, eight, nine, last 10, one, good, two, three, good, four, five, five six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. All right, bring it up and put them away. Good, and we're going to immediately start to stretch because we did some heavy duty stuff. We're going to start with the upper body. I want you to come around to your sphinx position right here. Just put your hands in front of your elbows and your elbows are under your shoulders. Now, what I'd like you to do is lift your chest up to the corner of the room. Lift it up. You should feel a very deliberate kind of reach with that. Breathe into it. Now, I want you to put your heels into the floor and pull it in the opposite direction. So you're pulling those hamstrings back as you're lifting up the chest and dropping the shoulders down your body. Now, reach your arms up, face down. Good, and breathe into it. I know it doesn't feel like a chest exercise or a chest stretch, but it is. Because we're going to take the arm around and put it in the middle of the back. Opens up the pec on one side. If you can do this, if you can't, just grab your glute and that'll do the same thing. And then bring it back up and then over to the other side. Good, keep your face straight down so you don't hurt your neck. And bring it back up and then hand under the shoulder and come up into a couple. Nice, straight ahead. Now sit back into child pose, toes together, knees apart and then get that upper body really stretched out. And bring it to tabletop. All right, your first chest exercise is five inch and up. That's your stretch, drop your shoulder blades way down, push them together. See, this is using your chest. And then when you inhale up like a cat, you're opening the back and bringing your chest together. Yeah. Everybody thinks of this as a back exercise, but it's really chest and back. Inhale, bottom and chin up there. You're opening your chest. And exhale, curl up like that. All right. So let's come on over. We did a lot of both bodies. So let's get those legs into, into action. So like Take one leg up, rotate the ankle one direction, and then the other. We're going to bring it down, big inhale and exhale up. Big inhale and exhale lower, and big inhale and exhale lower. And you're going to really just hold it there and keep breathing and keep bringing it down and keep breathing and keep bringing it down. Breathing, keep bringing it down. You're just into it. Yeah, I'm going to give you 15 more seconds here. That'll be 25 seconds all together. Breathe into it. And then cross it into the number four and push it to your hip. Now we didn't do hip and groin, but this is going to be glute, right? So when we bring that leg off the floor, right? We feel that glute on both sides. When did we do glutes? We did them in squats, right? Extend the other leg up, rotate the ankle one direction, and the other. Let's go. Begin inhale and exhale lower. Begin inhale and exhale lower. Begin on that tell or you hang on to it. Let's do that 25 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Just really breathe. Nice. Two more seconds. Excellent. 
and then drop it over, push into the thigh a little bit, and then bring that leg off the floor and there's your glute stretch. And then bring it, the legs together, drop them to the side to bring yourself around. Already did our tabletop, so let's just go right up into our downward facing dog. All right, push through with your hands. That's going to help release the shoulders and back from all that upper body work that we did. One knee forward and the other heel down. And then switch. And then both heels down and push your chest in toward your legs. Oh, feels so good. Walk it in. Dangle. We're going to dangle. Really feel the body release. Good. And then curl yourself up. We are back from all that heavy work. Soften your knees and watch your chin. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the center. And down. Two more up. And down. And last time, thank you everybody for coming to this body sculpting workout. Today was heavy weights and muscles and big, big movement. 